In this video, I'm going to show you how to change the color of the sky in your photos using Adobe Photoshop. So let's get into it. So once you're inside of Adobe Photoshop and you have a brand new image created, we're first going to begin by just selecting the sky. Now we're gonna be super rough when we do this. We're not gonna bother following the edges and making sure that we get this perfect and precise. We're just gonna select everything that has the sky in. So we're gonna go over to the left. And as you can see, we've got this icon here. We're gonna drag across and select the polygonal lasso tool. Now from here, we're just gonna to go to the top left and we're just going to make a selection around the sky. And as you can see in my selection, you can see I've got part of these buildings. I've got this bridge, I've got all of this, but that's completely fine for now. So from here, we want to go to the adjustment layer. So we'll go window adjustments. And as you can see, that is this icon here. Now in the adjustment window, we want to go over to hue slash saturation, select that. And as you can see, we've got hue, saturation and lightness. So to simply change the color, all we have to do is just change the slider on the hue. So I can drag this towards the oranges and I have more of a brown sort of sky. I can drag this towards the greens and everything is a bit more green. Of course, though, select a color of your choice and then you could go down to saturation. You can increase the saturation as well if you want to and you can increase or decrease the lightness. It's completely up to you. But once you're happy with that look, you just want to close down adjustment. Select that hue slash saturation adjustment layer. We'll go to the eraser tool on the left of Photoshop. Go into the size, we'll decrease the size to around, let's go 400 and, let's go 500. And we'll pull the softness down to zero. So now making sure the hue slash saturation layer is selected. So we'll select this here. So make sure this box is selected. If this is selected here, you'll see I can't make an adjustment. So you want to actually select this box here, the box on the right, the black and white one. Then you just want to zoom in and you just want to erase parts of the image that should not be affected. So anything that is not the sky, anything you don't want affected should be erased. So I'm just gonna go over super quickly, just painting out parts of the image. As you can see, I've overlapped here a little bit, whoops. But that's fine for now and then we'll just zoom out and there you go the sky color has changed now of course if you wanted to you could also go in and you can paint over the clouds you can still keep that blue hue in the clouds that's completely up to you but once you've gone around and erased parts of those adjustment layers you should be left with something like this so if i turn this off the sky is blue if i turn this on this guy is back to pink and of course, we don't have to keep this at 100% because this adjustment layer is on its own layer. We can pull the opacity down and that will affect the color. So we can pull this to 50, so it's a more subtle effect. We can have it at 100, so it's really intense, or we can have it down at zero. Of course, if we pull the opacity back up to 100, go into the normal mode, we can change the blending mode as well. So if we change this to multiply, the sky turns purple. Color burn gives us a more intense purple. Linear burn, we've also got lighten color dodge we've got all of these different effects here using the blending modes so pick an option that works for you of course you can just keep this at normal and keep this at what we did earlier but there you go that is the basics of how you change the color of your sky right inside of adobe photoshop so thank you for watching i really appreciate your support and hopefully i will see you on a future video see you there